Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the beneficent and merciful, to whom all praise is due, the Lord of all the world, Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, the God of the universe, the God of you and I, the God of all the nations on the earth, That's right. is in Him. I thank Him for the resurrections of Messenger Elijah Muhammad, who took a long, long journey with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from Master Farad to give to you and me. so that we could understand and know who we are. That's right. In this day of trouble, so I thank Allah for him because we need Every word that was given to him, we That's need. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We need it to understand. We need it for our knowledge to know who is who and what is what. Right. That's right. And the best of all, to know what time it is today. That's right. right. Brothers and sisters, I was sitting waiting for a few more to came, come in. As we know, it's very hard to get anyone to come to the truth. That's right. That's right. That's right. I ask all to help to bring people in to hear the truth. But it's a hard thing to get them. Today has come that you and I should be uh, together. That's right. Should be one people one nation as it has been prophesied by the prophets of old and it is written in the Quran saying a new nation is to rise up that's right and that new nation is you and I what makes it new one time we had it and we lost it. That's right. That's right. By our enemy putting us to sleep. That's right. So today, Islam is a new religion to us. Although it's not new. That's right. It is as old are older, rather, than the sun, the moon, and the star. That's right. Islam is the natural religion of man. It is the natural religion of God. That's right. God never claim Christianity, Buddha, or Confucius, or any of the others 
to be his religion. But I'm not here today to try to talk any religion to you. I don't want to every time that you see me I'm talking about religion. Right? Because you have had so much religion. When I say you, I'm talking about we, all of us. Is that right? have had so much religion until today we see that religion have not done us any good when I'm That's not right. speaking about Islam. That's right. All other religions That's that right. we have had have did us no good. That's right. It was only a thing that has murdered us, especially the black man. That's right. Every one of the uh, six religions, which there are seven, every one of the six have brought confusion misunderstanding and death That's right. to black man of the planet Earth. That's right. That's right. No one on top of the Earth can tell us better than we can tell them what Christianity has done for us. That's right. That's right. We can talk it to anyone because we have had it for near 400 years, near 100 years, excuse me. Near 100 years or a little better, we have had Christian religion. We didn't have it during the days of slavery. That's right. White folks didn't allow us to have right. Christianity because we couldn't read. That's right. And if he caught us reading, right. he'd take off a giant of our finger right. or beat us near to death. That's true. That's right. That's right. If you was caught with a pencil in your hand, they would take off a giant of your finger each time that you was caught. That's what white people did. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And today, we uh, don't look at that. So, so many of our people don't look at that. They said that was doing slavery. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, that was doing slavery. When did we get out of slavery? Right. That's right. That's right. We are not out of slavery. That's right. That's right. We was moved from one slavery into another. That's right. That's right. That's right. Plenty of people today thinks they are free. That's right. And can do as they please. No. Black American is not yet free. That's right. That's right. The one that come to free us and to unite us together, he raised up a prophet, a messenger from among us. And he's to carry that word to every black American. He was not sent to any other people. That's right. Messenger Elijah Muhammad was not sent to any other people other than the black man of America who has been a slave for 400 years under a tough and bad slave master. That's right. That's right. And I think we should move forward towards each other. That's right. Instead of saying, no, this is all right. Huh. We can get what we want from the white people. 
if 400 years pass us and we don't have it, why not uh, know then that I can't get it? Would you beg a man for a dollar for 400 years? <laughs> Even if you lived that long, you wouldn't do it. That's right. That's right. You wouldn't stand up to a man and ask him to borrow 50 cents and just constantly stand in there begging him, loan me 50 cents, loan me 50 cents. Right. After a while, you tell him, say, go to hell, you ain't going to get That's it. That's right. That's right. Teach me, Mr. Teach right. That's right. Yes, sir. So you begging. So it is with us today, standing before the white America. Begging them for freedom, justice, and equality. Right. And we have not yet got it. That's right. That's right. Can't get it. Why? When have the slave ever been equal to his master? Yeah, you might say, well, they have slaves in, the, in Arabia. Yes, they do. The slave can pray with the king. Slave can eat at the same table with the king. But yet he must consider who is before him. That's true. Right? Right. That's a king you're sitting before. You got to obey him. And it's worse in America. Worse. Peoples in the Eastern world, the slaves there. In the West, there are slaves there. In the North, there are slaves there. South, slavery. Now, when is black American going to rise up to get away from slavery and be a free man? When will he do that? What's keeping us in bondage is our belief. That's right. That's right. That's right. Believing in these so-called leaders that we have. That's right. That's right. And we have so many different kinds. That's right. You can do whatever you want to in some of them societies. Yeah. When you know that you're wrong, no, that shall not happen in Islam. Not the Islam that Master Farad brought and given to Messenger Elijah Muhammad. You can't do what you want to do. No man does what he wants to do before God. It's not that. He don't let you do it. If you could do whatever that you want to do before God in his religion, then why will he punish you when you go wrong? God shouldn't punish me if I do something evil. If, if uh, I can do what I want to, he shouldn't bother me. Leave me alone. Right. But he punishes me. And you know when you're being punished. person don't have to tell you. Say, God is punishing you now. You know it. That's right. That's right. What are we going to do, brothers and sisters? Just sit right still and steady and say, we are here on the mercy of God and do what we want to do. We can't do that. Belief Belief 
in the truth is something that carries more than just religion. That's right. Belief in the truth. We're going to talk for a few minutes and I'm going to stop. We will use for a subject, some say text, We will use the word do for self. What's that? Do for self. We use a theme word to it as what we want now. Do for self what we want now. In other words, it's the same words the messenger said what the Muslims want. That's right. Did you ever consider what he said when he said what the Muslims want? A lot of people take it to be just the Muslims that following him or just a person that called themselves a Muslim. A lot of people take it that way. No. Every black man in the wilderness here in America is a Muslim regardless to whether he's drunk. Right. As long as he's not dead. That's right. Physically. That's right, right. That's right When he's dead physically, he's dead spiritually. If he's dead spiritually and physically, he's dead mentally. So if he's not dead, black man is a Muslim. Right. That's right. That's right. Some people have said, no, I'm not a Muslim. I am a Christian. And they cannot find Christians in the Bible where Jesus or any of the other prophets or followers of the prophets said they were Christians. That's right. That's right. It's not there. Only one man spoke about being a Christian, and that was Paul. We don't find where Jesus said you must be Christian to go to heaven. Moses didn't say it. Right. Adam didn't say it. Lot didn't say it. None of them said it. Even Muhammad, the last one uh, 1,400 years ago, he didn't say it, that you had to be a Christian. Right. And in both books speaks against Christianity. Then what must we do, like brothers and sisters? When I say it like that, I'm, I, I'm, I'm talking to everybody, outside and inside. What must we do? We must do something for our own good, for our own self. Let me give you a small hint. Here yeah, a few years ago, all of our cities caught a fire, right? Right, right, that's right. Burned down by who? That's right. By us. That's right. That's right. What did we get out of it? Nothing. We burned our own homes down. We didn't go out and burn the white folks' homes right. down. That's right. We stayed right around in the city here and burned our house down. And look for the owner of the houses, the Jews, as we might say, as we call them, to rebuild a house for us. 
He got the insurance. You got nothing. That's right. We got nothing. Today, look at the city, all over there. Not just this one. Mm -mm. Not just this one. Across the country, I have seen many of the of the other towns and cities where the dilapidated buildings had been burned. And people would go in there, black people would go in there and stay there all night long, winter and summer. That's right. That's right. Now, did you get a blessing from that? We say no, right? Because we got nowhere to stay, got nowhere to live, got not a house to live in. Well, what must we do? Or what has God did about it? God could have stopped that fire from burning, right? Because he has power over all things. Now look at that. Is that a blessing for you for you and me because it did it? Yes. Yes, that was a blessing, and it was not a blessing. It put us out of a place to live in, and it made vacant land that you can go and buy and live there your own self. That's right. And build your own home. Look up and down this street here. Why I always mention this street is because that we don't do nothing here for our own selves. That's right. The same as they doesn't do anything for themselves in other towns. All of this waste, property. Why don't we get together and get this property for ourselves? That's right. That's right. We have bricklayers, brick masons, as we call them. We have carpenters. We have men can put in electricity. That's right. We have men that can dig a hole and make a foundation for us. Yeah. I'm right. talking about black men yes, sir. with right. that kind of knowledge. We have great architects of our own kind that can set it up and draw up what you want. Yeah. That's right. right. Is we doing so? No. Is our leaders doing so? No. no sir. Then what must we do? Right. We must do something for our own self. That's right. Do for self what we want now. We want, are we the Muslims? We can say it. In Highland Park, Michigan, in Detroit. But I prefer Highland Park right now. We want a Muhammad temple. This is not sufficient. That's right. That's right. Look how poor we are. Can't get enough people together to come in and say, I will buy one chair that you pick out, Brother John. I'll buy one. Another one say, I'll buy one. That's right. Another say, I'll buy one. Right. With the house full. Until that we have got it all seated. I'm not for sitting on the floor. That's right. That's Do you right. hear me? Yes, sir. I've been sitting on the floor all of my life. Yes, sir. I want a chair for sitting. I said, we want a Muhammad Temple. 
with the University of Islam. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. A Muhammad University. That's right. That's right. I want this university having six or eight rooms. Six or eight room building on each side of Muhammad's temple. This calls for a total of 12 or 16 room school on each side with the temple in the middle. All Islamic places starting is the school is where the temple is at. That's right. After we have grown to the stage where that we can't house this on this property here, we move on and put the school over here and then the mosque over there. We want to make a beautiful school. To have teachers given and teaching education to our young and the old. The Muhammad University of Islam, which we first call the University of Islam, was set up by Master Farad Muhammad. The messenger did not set up the University of Islam. Some might tell you, says, oh, that's the school Elijah set up. No. He did not. We want to have it a beautiful place. You say, well, it takes a whole lot of money, and we ain't got the people to do it with. Yes, we have the people. That's right. Yeah. Right here in this town, Highland Park. That's right. Right in the city of Detroit, we have the people. Right. That's right. So I would love for you to tell your friends. what we want to have and what we want to do. Not for my benefit to take something from you, but for your benefit to give you something. What is better than having a beautiful schoolhouse for self? and do for self. It will be shown. Doing for self will be shown when we build such a place. Right? Right. That's right. That's right. We can't do that, man. You're talking too far here. How can we build a school? Well, listen, when I get, before I get through, I hope I have the time with you. Before I get through, you're going to wish that you had built one. Yes, sir. Why? A government is responsible for the ignorant. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. The government is responsible for you getting an education. That's right. A lot of people say, no, they are not responsible. Yes, they are. They are responsible for you getting an education. No country, no government, no president wants to see all of his uh, government foolish. 
The greatest of the schools of today is in the Eastern world. America has great schools, great ones. But it's said and known that the greatest of the school is in the Eastern world. That's right. Now the Eastern world comes to the Western world and they get education and goes back to their East. That's right. And they teach theirs and this one. Here we sitting in a government and don't know our own names. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you. And when somebody comes to our people and tells them, says, why don't we unite ourselves together and build something and do for ourselves right. so that we can have something, you see our people saying, oh, I don't believe in that. That's right. That's right. Well, what do our people believe in? No, that's Elijah's stuff. That's Farad's stuff. I don't care if it's your stuff. Right. That's right. It is good. That's right. I want you to listen. Don't leave. I want you to listen. Because this must be done. That's right. And I'll be back again with the same thing. That's right. That's it. I shall not stop. That's right. That's it. Samuel said when he went to choose David to be king when he saw the rest of the brothers there had them all to stand up and look at them and sit down to the table to eat he saw a plate turned down and he asked the question say who sits here yes, sir. and they says to him says David he's a little shepherd boy he's out watching the sheep he said well I shall not sit down not until he comes here too okay. when he got there he stopped out in the yard with his stick that he beat the leaves for the sheep he stopped out in the yard Samuel went out there Look at him. He says, this is him. That's right. This is him. This is why I came here. That's right. Was to choose this one and anoint his head with all. That's right. All right. So when he anointed his head with oil, he left then. He didn't even come back in the house to eat. That's right. He, he left. Then it was David. Huh. And the messenger told me, he says, brother, he says, Every time I read about David in the Bible, I close it up. He says, I can't read all of it because I'm reading about myself. That's right. Right. How can we get these things? If this country is so rich and she's all time giving billions of dollars to others, then tell me why we cannot get some of it. We have worked here, our forefathers yes, have worked here and built a place for white America. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we got none of it. Why don't we little few just start coming together? Just keep on coming together. That's right. Don't stop. That's right. Don't come one time and go back home and say, well, I don't hear it. No, you haven't heard it all. That's right. You can't judge a case until you hear the whole thing. That's right. We want to start a goal for our Muhammad Speaks paper.
We want to have a gold fight. We are very near to having it back again. Very near. This paper here. Yes, sir. If we can get it back like we want to get it back, it will pay for that building from your school. Okay. That's right. It will pay for it. But we can't sit down. We can't sit down and just lay the paper down and expect for the paper now to turn into dollar bills. That's right. We got to get up and carry this paper to the people and let them give us a donation for this paper. That's right. And this paper will build you a mosque. It will build you a temple. That's right. Of Islam. It will build you a school like you want it. Because it won't stop right here in Highland Park, won't stop in Detroit. I want to send this paper in every city in America, every town, every crossroad, right. every ugly person, every pretty person, every tall person, yes, every short person, if he's black, I want him to read it. Yes, sir. Because something will be in them. It will pay for it. We want to start this goal. We have a destination with it. You might say, oh man, we can't do this. Don't say you can't do it. That's right. That's right. Help get enough people together and we can do it. That's right. We need now for our goal $20,000, which can clear us for a start of our temple and school and business. That's easy. $20,000. Nobody comes around and gives to us $1,000. That's right. That's easy. Don't nobody do that. If we get $1,000, we got to get it through the means of our own brothers and sisters here. We want to do something for our own selves. We can't do nothing for self if we don't be present, if we go away for a day or two and come back, go away again for a day or two. We ain't doing nothing for self. Take a, a good note on our parents of the South when we was all farming. He couldn't make a farm unless he got up out of his bed and went on and get the mule and go to the field and plow. He, if, if he sat there, the mule would die and he would die. That's right. That's right, brother. So we have to get up and go to our field. That's right. Our field is to try to work and get something to have for ourselves. Yeah. What if we had a nice business today that we could put some of our people to work in? And they wouldn't be out saying, I haven't got a job. I wouldn't do this, but I haven't got a job. Yeah. What if our black millionaires would come along with us and give us a few bucks? That's right. That's right. 
Why don't he say to us, says, here, there's so many black millionaires here, each one of us is going to give you $100,000. The tenth of a million. A hundred thousand. And we take that and pool it together with the little that we have, we would soon have a nice building. Yeah. Nice business. Yeah. But go ask them for it. You and me won't get it. But you can take one who says that he's a, uh, the almighty God. He can get it. Then what did he build for you? Do you see what I'm saying? Sorry. Do you understand what I'm trying to put over and bring to you? To your attention so that you will understand that we got to stick together like soup with a tomato? That's right. We got to pool our pennies together like we did when we went out and said, let's get one. That's right. That's right. We didn't stop until we had got enough to get a pint of whiskey, right? That's right. Why can't we do this now? <laughs> right. Stop getting the whiskey and pool it here. If you want your whiskey, if a whiskey costs 15 cents, go get your whiskey. Leave 15 cents over here. That's right. <laughs> If you don't want your whiskey, then leave it alone and put the 30 cents over here. Right? That's right. Huh. Cigarettes cost us what? One fifty. How much? Dollar fifty? Yes, sir. Two twenty-five out of the cheap. What? The two dollars and four out of the cheap. Two dollars and a quarter out of the machine. Yes, sir. And a dollar and a half across the counter, right? Yes, sir. I used to smoke them. The highest I ever paid for a package of cigarettes was a quarter. <laughs> no, sir. And if they had to say 26 cents, I'd right? say, you keep them. A man that will spend a dollar and a half for a cancerous stick. Excuse me, he's just a crazy fool. That's yeah, right. <laughs> Excuse me. You might smoke them. Man that will buy packages. Camels or Chesterfields or Lucky Strikes. They got a lot of different names now. And then after he get that, he go get him a joint. Huh? Then he going to chip in and get him a pint of whiskey. Then he go and get his deadly weapon, the real deadly weapon. That's crack. The worst on the market. When if we pool all of this together, say, listen, I'm going to set a pint of whiskey over here, pack of cigarettes, crack. Beer and wine. You stay right there now. I'm going over here. If you come to me, I'll use you. If you never come to me, I don't want you. Stay away. It will do it, truthfully. But we won't do it. 
If you buy the beer, the wine, the whiskey, and all of the other drugs, take that. Go take it to the bank and let it work for you. That's right. It will get interest. It wouldn't take you long to have a hundred dollars for the first deposit. I think it's a hundred dollars to get you a book. Then you can put a dime in after that. A man and woman that do these things is as crazy as two Bessiebugs trying to walk the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> That's right. Very poor, aren't they? Very poor. Why not we stop and think that while we are in this condition and we seize what our fathers came through with, what our mothers came through with, we see that. Why don't we stop and think and build and do something for our own good in the future? That's right. Tell them, tell your friends. I'm talking to you just here. Tell your friends that John Muhammad will do justice towards us if we go and help. Tell him that. That is my purpose. That is my aim. That is what I promised I would do. I promised that to mention Elijah Muhammad, that if the people come to me, I will do these things for you. I promise him that. That's why I ask and beg everybody, will you come and be with us? Will you accept your own Islam? And don't stay away. Some people have came and joined uh, with us and they left us. You ain't doing nothing. No. Stay two or three days and he gone. That's right. You ain't doing nothing. I can't do anything. You came and helped tied my hands. If you had a help taking the handcuffs off, I would show you the good that I would do. We want our paper because if we take the paper and go out in the streets with it, it will pay for what you want. Did not you know what bought all of the things the messenger had, the farms and whatnot? And he had the tractors on the farm that will reach for three miles, uh, tail, head to tail or whatever, you know, as long as they was on a line, straight line, they would equal three miles. Did you know that? He had it. What did all of that? It was the people pooling their money together with him and keeping his Muhammad speak paper a going. That did it. The business that he had set up by his paper and what was donated to him through the mosque. All the way from number one mosque, 
one temple started it. I know because I was treasure. I know what was done. I was the treasure two times. First time I was treasure, we got nothing but pennies coming into the temple. I paid rent one Christmas morning with nothing but pennies. Pennies mount up. But you got to keep it until it do make a pile. $20,000 right today among 20 or 30 good men that's right, brother. is no money. No, that's right. Because look what you make if you work. You can't tell me that you make money like what I did when I was working. When I retired from the factory, I was making $3.27 an hour. When I retired. You, all, you won't find that job now. A man won't work for $3 an hour now, will he? You don't find him. How do you know? I know it. I hear it. The job that I retired from, me and them make 10 and $12 an hour right today. That's right. Boy, if I could have saw 10 or $12 an hour while I was in, that would have been a millionaire by now. That's right. I said that, said that way because of how much it would be. We know everything else is high. Look at your rent. You can't find a house now unless it is 250 up. And you don't want that. That's right. That's right. Right. How do I know? I see it. Can't we do better? We can build our own houses, brothers and sisters. Yeah. We don't have to go and ask the man to rent us anything. All we got to do is just say, here, here my dime, here my quarter, here my dollar. All of it together. One man give a quarter. Don't take but four men to make a dollar. That's right. <coughs> Excuse me. But we can go to some place where that they have plenty of it and they say, give me fifty or sixty dollars. You go feel it in your pocket, see if you got it. Yeah, right. right. That's not what they do. And what do you get from it? Yeah. Not nothing. Let us stop and think. Tell other people. Tell the people's in the streets. Tell them in the city hall. Tell them in the White House. I don't care where you tell them. That's right. That John Muhammad wants to build something for the black people in America, what Messenger Elijah Muhammad had in mind of doing himself. Tell them that. I don't care who it is. If the devil want to help you, the white man want to give you something other, and they will if you'd ask them. Yeah, right. Some of them will give you a dollar too. <laughs> One brother was selling Muhammad Speaks paper. The devil came up and bought the paper and gave him five dollars for it. <laughs> and that, and you know what was said in that paper, calling all white folks devils. That's right. <laughs> Why? He didn't know that he was a devil. White people have learned that they are the devil. They didn't know it. Right. Just like you don't know you is the original man. That's right. right. And who told it? Master Farad taught it to the messenger and the messenger taught it to us. $20,000 is no money, and we need it right now.
right here. Which can help us to clear ourselves and put us a stop on our way to a temple, school, and businesses with just $20,000. That's right. This day, May the 21st, 1890, 1889, I am asking each registered Muslim brother and that one that is not registered, if he believes like I believe, for one hundred dollars by the first or the third. Well, we say Sunday, so Sunday's on the, on the fourth of June next month. We must start something, brothers and sisters, for ourselves. Yeah. We must do it. Whether the people is a member or not. That's right. I have a card that I will give to you if you will accept it. With your name and your address on it. And on the back side of it, whatever you want to mail in to us, to give. Where is it? Brother Sami, where did he go? Sister Secretary, where are they? There, it will tell you what you give, and you can mail it back and forth to the temple. The people that don't come to the temple, if they want to help in this program, on this project, if they want to help us to get farther and have something in the nation of Islam here in Highland Park or Detroit, They can make a money order for, please make it for more than a quarter. Because at that rate, we'll be giving the government profit. But if you just save that dollar and a half from cigarettes, or whatever you use, is, if they just save it or give, buy it, and then give to us the same as the cigarettes cost or the whiskey cost. Give it to us. And it will exempt you. It is tax exempt. You won't have to pay tax on it when it comes time for tax. We are tax free. I want each one, if, the, if there's a lost found, as we call it, this is what I want to. People who want one of these farms, they can have it, and what's the evidence they feel like mailing in for this project. Be up to them. We'll mail it back. But please give according to your wants to give, but not under 26 cents. 25 cents would be paid to the, for the letter to send you back your receipt. Then we keep the penny to help. That's poignant. 
But if we had a million people given a penny, we would have a lot of money. Just do it every day, a penny a day, we'd have a lot of money. Think about it, if the devil would pay us today, pay off what our forefathers did in their work. For 400 years being a slave here in America, if they would pay off you three cents a day, America would be broke tomorrow. Oh, yeah. America would be broke tomorrow. I don't mean just pay off like, just say, well, you owe me three cents a day before. Uh -uh, not like that. Give me compounding or compounding interest every 30 days. Yes, sir. America would be broke tomorrow morning. That's she right. couldn't pay it. That's right. That interest will eat her all up. Just like you, when you owe a debt someplace that you have borrowed two, three hundred dollars, and you pay ten or fifteen dollars a month on it, with interest you got to be paying, look what you are doing. That bottom dollar is the dollar was counting. That's right. That was laying on the floor there, you won't never hardly get to it. And every time you pay interest on there, after a while you're paying three and four dollars for that one dollar. That's right. What if you pay that off today to 30 million black people for 400 years? Yes, sir. Computing interest. You, America couldn't pay it. Then if you can't pay that, why don't you give me some tractors now, since the meal is gone? Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. right. Give us some tractors now and let us do some work. If you want, if you don't do that, give us a, a steam shovel or something other and give us the land up and down Highland Park, uh, 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 Hamilton here in Highland Park. Right. And we dig our own hole and you give us the bricks. I have worked for him, right? If I was working for you or working for the black people or some black man, just, just I'm saying this for a parable. If I was working for a black man or white man around here and he wouldn't give me nothing, how long would I work? The first day he said he can't pay me off, I'm gone. And you'd be gone too. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm after. All right, brother. I'm after something for us. Yes, sir. See a brother walking up and down the street, barefooted, and asking you for 15 cents to get him a bowl of beans. Stop that and teach him. I don't mean to go out there and teach him now. No, 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 no. Bring him here, let him come here, and let him sit down and listen at the teaching. Because on the outside, he has a hard way to go with him. Yeah. First thing he want to do is cuss you out and say, I don't see you with nothing, nigga. That's <laughs> right. Yep. If we had something to show, like the mention you did when uh, he started, he told me one day sitting at his house, his first little place of business there on the, uh, on the, uh, went, went, went for something street there. Anyway, I forget it now. And uh, his, his first place of business that he started, he took me there to see it. And when they come back home, he told me, he says, you know what, he said, we can't do nothing unless we have something. That's right. People don't want to even come to you. Even a lot of the Muslims there, after he had started this business there, 
they walked right by, right by their own store there, right by their own restaurant, with two market bags in their hand, full of groceries from the supermarket. Yes, sir. And he had the same thing right there. He says, tomorrow my subject shall be, brother, is your word your bond? Yes, sir. He preached it. He preached it too. Is your word your bond? You promised what you would do. Yeah. Then they began to start coming in. After he had set up a supermarket in Chicago, some of them still would not come to him. That's right. Awful. What must we do, brothers and sisters? What must we do? We have to keep on a banging, banging at the door of them, of those right. people. Right. Asking them, will you come on and help us? Look how Jesus went to the, how it's spoken of rather in the book saying, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. That's right. And whosoever shall let me in, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. If he just opened the door. Who was he talking about? You and me. Right. Why he had to stand at the door and knock is because that it shows that the people on the inside must be sleeping. I got to stand here and just keep on knocking to wake them up so they come here and open the door for me. That's right. That's the way the messenger taught it to me. Must have been at night time. Must have been dark. And everybody laying there asleep. Talking about us. Standing at the door and knocking for you to do something for yourself. I'm asking everybody every sister to give something. I can't ask the sisters for a hundred dollars. I won't do that. Whatever they can do. This is what we draw up. To give to people. To send to people. If they would only help us. The University of Islam, 16187 Hamilton Avenue, Highland Park, Michigan, 48203. Emergency school drive donation. Name, address, city, and state, the zip code. On the back side it reads, in the name of Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praise are due forever, Master of the Day of Judgment, to Allah alone do I submit and seek refuge. We here in Highland Park, Michigan, are asking everyone to help build a school, University of Islam, for yourself, your children, what we are actually saying is it takes a lot of money to build for yourself on some of this good earth that you can call your own. Messenger Elijah Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, do it yourself. Yeah. Do it yourself. <laughs> the next paragraph reads, the whole nation of Islam thanks you for your donation to this emergency drive for purchasing first a building here for the purpose of training our children so that they can be recognized the world over by any government. This fact 
the spots are vacant. We will need, for starter, about one million dollars. When we begin, we want to have enough so that when the building is complete, we can pay it off. All donations, pledge, and charity will go to the bank. No one, two, three, or four people will hold it. Nobody but the bank of which that you can say your own self. Your brother, John Muhammad. Wherever you are, we thank you for helping this cause. Wherever you are, I don't care if you was in tacky hacky or wacky wacky, if you got one of these, put some dough in an envelope and mail it to us and we'll send you a check back and send you your same one. We'll mark it, just don't you write on it. We'll write on that just what you send and mail it right back to you. Don't send cash, don't send a personal check because we have gotten checks that uh, have five stone in it. <laughs> That's right. And we don't want it to bounce. Rubber bounces. It costs a lot of money when you bail a check and, and you don't have the money in the bank to pay off. That costs a lot of money. They charge you for it. Some checks cost you 17 and 20 dollars for what you sent. That's right. The bank will charge you for it. Why do you know, John? I have got them. Right. More than one and two. Then we had to pay for the bouncing of that check. That's right. Some of the people we seen, and they paid it. They said, well, that's okay, I'll pay for it. And they did it. This is what you would get. If you want one of these farms, all you have to do is to stop to the secretary's desk and say, listen, I'm going to send what I can send because I need a school. We are not only going to ask you, we're going to ask every black person in this city. Right. 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 We're not going to ask just you just because you are present. No, we're going to ask that one that is not present. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. And we will know the one that will not help. And on the judgment day, Listen. I hope I can see that one standing there. Yes, sir. I want each one to give one hundred dollars. We want all Muslim and non-Muslims to participate. Now with whatever they will give and get a receipt for what you give, it will be tax exempt. You can file it with what you, at your, uh, with your tax that you file with. We want a place of joy. That's right. That's it. That's right. And good education, That's second right. to none. That's right. Tell the people that. That's right. How can we be happy with the greatest religion on earth and saying we got the greatest God and got nothing? Say, well, your God ain't no good. Yes, he is. I believe in a living God, not a dead God. That's right. I believe in asking a God that can work. That's right. Not a one that can't work. Some say, well, I believe in Jesus. He did this and he did that for me. Well, he might have did it while he was alive, but he ain't did a damn thing for you since he been dead. Right. 
Well, that, 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 I haven't said anything that, thank you, I haven't said anything that is bad. Because what did Jesus do for you that he didn't do for me? Tell them that. Like that, when they tell you, Jesus did this for me, Jesus did that. But what did he do for you that he didn't do for me? Both of us been catching hell ever since we left Mama's titty. Right? Now what did he do for, for you? Like a man told me one day on Linwood, uh, next door to the temple there in the restaurant there, he said, I was still asking him to come to the temple sometime and visit. I asked him in a nice family, nice way. He says, no, I've been up there once. So I know all about it. I've been there once. Well, I didn't want to bother with him in the first place. I just, he looked like he was a nice, intelligent man. And I thought maybe if I get turned away, I'd be turned away intelligent like. Well, he did the best that he had knowledge to do, but I find that he had no knowledge. And uh, he says, I am, uh, I got me a $15,000 home and a Cadillac. I don't need to come up there. He said, Jesus has blessed me. And I got a good job at Ford. I looked at him and I said, yes, sir. He said, of course, I haven't paid for my Cadillac yet. <laughs> but I've never I paid for my home. I said, yes, sir. Now, that was my restaurant he was standing in. Yes, sir. I had something to get back at him with. I said, I'm the owner and the manager of this restaurant. I said, I got a home too. I said, I got two of them. And both of them is paid for. And I said, you see that car standing there, the Lincoln Continental? <laughs> see, it's paid for. So that's mine too. And above that, brother, how many children have you got? Well, I got one or two. So I got 14 and they're all as Muslims. Never yet been in a Christian church to serve Jesus Christ. I said, now what did Jesus do for you? That he didn't do for me. I said, he ain't did nothing for me. And nothing for you. <laughs> so not only that, brother. I says, I will never go hungry. Long as the day I live, I will never be hungry. He looked at his watch, he says, well, I think it's time for me to go. I said, sure is. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to fix this like the messenger says fix it so that we can have something for ourselves and nobody will have to say nothing to us about it it will belong to black man and black woman and listen if someone talk against you against me to you and say, well, the messenger's son messed up everything. What will you do? What will he do? Tell him, say, this ain't the messenger's son. That's this right. is the messenger's brother. That's right. <laughs> and I will do for you the same as the messenger did for us. And nobody won't be able to come and take it away. 
That's right. The only way the nation can lose this building that we got here and we will soon have it all paid for. A few more payments and it'll be paid for to belong to us. There's not a man can own it. That's right. Devil won't jump in here and say, well, this belonged to this, such and such a thing. If I'm dead, he can't come in here and say, this is, this, this is belong to us and we're going to hold it up right. and see what is what. No, he can't. Mm. No, because if he do, the one that be left can sue the hell out of him for doing so, for just holding it up. That's right. This building I'm talking about. Don't belong to me, don't belong to you. It belongs to the nation of Islam. That's right. Uh, on the John Muhammad's temple. That's right. And I'm qualified enough, as much as I stand here and call white folks the devils and everything, and I don't have a for sale sign hanging on my back, and they gives me enough credit that you should do what I say do. That's right. Devils does it. And I stand here and tell you, every devil that uh, came out of a devil's woman is a devil. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. And he don't come in here to bother you, neither do he. No, sir. Why, I got the truth on him. That's right. What can you do when you got the truth? Okay. We are going to start on Wednesday. The weather's getting warm, right? Yes, sir. sir. You don't have to worry about walking out in a whole lot of snow. If you do, for God's sakes, pray to God to send the swing low sweet chariot down to you. Because <laughs> hell will, is already here. <laughs> we will start Wednesday and Friday night. Wednesday and Friday nights from 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. for a crusade for membership. We, I wanted to have it every day, but then, so when I woke up this morning, it came to me, no, don't do it every day as yet. Try your, the same meetings that you had during the time of Master Farad and the Messenger. And plenty of the temples across the countries, they have meeting Wednesdays and Fridays still. They have it. But we had it once a uh, week on Sunday because of the people is so terrible. And in the winter time at 5 and 6 o'clock, it is dark. Okay. And so we just have it one, one day on a Sunday. And then the people didn't want to come. What we have had sometime more people on a on a Wednesday than we had on a Sunday. That's right. Now we want membership. Tell the people they can come and join at any time through the day. Say you don't join it, you're only reclaiming your own, which is Islam, which our fathers and mothers had. The day that we was land in Jamestown, Virginia, you can come any day to the temple and you can register there. Somebody here will register you, except probably on a Tuesday. Maybe somebody will be here on a Tuesday to record your name and you can join into your own nation on a Tuesday, but don't come after four o'clock. On the Mondays to from just for seven days, you can come here. Tell them they, they can come here and join. The Nation of Islam, 
so that we can build something for our own self. Minister John Muhammad, the Supreme Minister of the Nation of Islam, is uh, ready to register you so that we can uh, build our own school. You know what we need so much money for right now is what the devil is doing on, against the schools and against uh, your homes very soon. Is this a uh, ambassador stuff? You know, for to do ours here, we don't know yet exactly how much it's going to cost. We don't know, but uh, we're trying to get it as low as possible, and they usually charge you $35,000. And we're trying to get it as low as we can. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? This stuff around pipes to wrap, and like that the, the uh, tile on the floor, they want to see under there to see what it is. They bring the machine in here to catch the air and they examine it, see what it is. They examine everything in the building. They have been here and did so already. Okay. We don't know what the price is going to be now. But schools, and that goes for public and private. And they're going to start in your homes doing the same thing. That's right. Plummer told me that. Going to start right in your home doing the same thing. And that might cost you more than you paid for your house. Because they don't work for nothing. One place is enough to be a millionaire. All the schools, plenty of schools going to be closed. So if we had the money, as I'm begging you today to want to help with all of your might and glory, is to uh, build you one and let it be up to court when they build it. And then you won't have to pay all of that. That's right. A rat den like this one here, because we call it the temple, but a rat den like this one here, uh, if we do that, the devils that don't want you in here to hear the nation of Islam being taught will find some other thing to get you out of here. Right. Right. Well, we can, we can easily close John down. All we got to do is condemn the building because the, it was condemned when he bought it. We fixed it up like this. That's right. You had a sword when I got it. <laughs> You would have said, no, man, for God's sake, right. no, right. not this junkyard. That's right. A rat den like this one here, because we call it the temple, but a rat den like this one here, uh, if we do that, the devils that don't want you in here to hear the nation of Islam being taught, We'll find some other thing to get you out of here. Right. Well, we can we can easily close John down. All we got to do is condemn the building because the, it was condemned when he bought it. We fixed it up like this. That's right. You had a sword when I got it. You would have said, "No, man, for God's That's sake, right. That's no, right. not this junkyard." That's right. We got pictures showing you, right? That's right. Brother and sister, I'm asking you, this day, on this Mother's Day, next week. I mean, that was Mother's Day. That was last Sunday. That was last Sunday? Yes, sir. Next Sunday is our Mother's Day, right? Yes, sir. Last Sunday was White Mother's Day. Next Sunday is Black Mother's Day. Next Sunday, right? Black Mother's Day. Whew. Bring all the black mothers that got children or had children and ain't got none today, but she had some. Bring her here next Sunday. You come with her. Bring the children to.
so they can hear some good news. That's right. On Black on Black Mother's Day. Where I receive this from mostly is from what the Muslims program is. Is from number four. And it, that says we want our people in America whose parents or grand, grandparents were descended from slaves to be allowed to establish a separate state of territory of their own either on this continent or elsewhere. We believe that our former slave masters are obligated to provide such land and that the area must be fertile and mineral rich. We believe that our former slave masters are obligated to maintain and supply our needs in this separation territory for the next 20 to 25 years until we are able to produce and supply our own needs. Since we cannot get along with them in peace and equality after giving them 400 years of our sweat and blood and receiving in return some of the worst treatments human beings have ever experienced, we believe our contribution to this land and the suffering force upon us by white America justifies our demand for complete separation in a state or territory of our own. That's what I received this from. Thank you, my dear beloved brother and sister, for sitting listening. May Allah grant you your wish. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.